close what by. is up guys this is Sancho Here's West and welcome to care. another episode of Last of Us Factions this is my homage to Devlin Gaming pretty much what I consider the best guy with the 9 milli. this is my 9 millimeter only loadout and this is gonna be a different kind of episode from when you guys are seeing as you may know I am on vacation so I'm doing my best to provide you guys entertainment while I'm out so this is considered a post commentary so you can see a lot of jump cuts a lot of fast forwards things of that sort and I'm gonna do my best to break down what I'm thinking about if you guys want to explore using 9 milli only and so you're going to see a lot of tips and things like that, my fails, replays, all those kinds of things throughout this week of Thanksgiving for those of you in the States. Alright, as you see here, the 9 milli is very, very powerful in the right hand. And just like anything, most of the work you're going to see in The Last of Us is all about positioning, by getting position, but... It's very dangerous with the 9mm because you got to be sure you have the shots and you got to be sure that you have your ammo. It takes about 5 shots to bring some down. So every bullet takes about 20%. And see in this instant replay, I do not have enough bullets. I was thinking in my mind like maybe this guy's hurt, but no, no, no. Too far to risk having only 3 bullets and I go down. So essentially a headshot though is about 60% of damage. 60% of damage, so two headshots is a guaranteed down, one headshot and two Let's body go. shots is a down, and then of course you want to avoid uh, doing a lot of body shots. But with this loadout, I do have Crafter 1, and I really like having Crafter 1 with First Aid Training 2, and that combination with Sharpshooter 3 makes a very deadly, deadly, uh, just a very deadly loadout simply because you have... Uh, you could get in and out of trouble with the crafter just in case you gotta, you know, support your players with any kind of throwables. And at the same time, here is what I like about having first aid training too. It has the ability to get up those bullets. What I really like about first aid training is that it keeps you active. Not first aid training one, but first aid training two keeps you active because you're always considering your surroundings. You're like, you're checking in with your partners. You say, hey man, who has heals? I have heals. You're you're very active, and that being active keeps you in touch with the game. What's happening? Now we got a nice little moment right here. Nine milli is dangerous up close. Do the twitch dance. Down he goes. Let's go ahead and see that instant replay again. Very deadly up close. I love the nine milli. You gotta get used to that rate of fire. You gotta get used to it, especially as you upgrade it. You could just let it fly with that R2. What I like about what Devlin Gaming says about his nine milli video, he was like, just go ahead and spam that R2. Wow, double molly, down they go. I'm gonna go ahead and keep my distance. Throw my own molly in. No, I did not molly myself. See? Bow and arrow, did not molly myself, did not count as a fail, no, 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 no. As I was saying, what people, of the, what I like to say as well, and a lot of people with the YouTubers of The Last of Us, in general, when it comes to gaming, is know the rhythm of your gun. Know it well, because it will teach you when to shoot it again, or when to press that trigger button. Let me get rid of this bomb real quick. So, know the trigger, the, the rhythm of the gun, so that way you could essentially spam it. And the higher you have the upgrade, the better it is. Now here's the mistake I made right here. What's the mistake I made? Well, 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 my friends, let me go ahead and let me hit that instant replay button and let me show you what I made. It's quite simple. I have enough listening mode power, listening juice, so use it. Especially when you're going in an open area, look left and right. As you saw there, that guy was right there. You didn't necessarily need the listening mode, but you always gotta check your left and right, and it's nice to use the listening mode. Just a little quick little spurt of it in that general direction. There we are. We are down 11 to 13, and I uh, make the cardinal sin of the bus depot. Always look out for a bomb. That's always a great place Shit, to Salt Lake bus bomb. It's always great to put a little bomb there. Nice surprise. But hey, the way I see it, the positive, optimistic side of me says I just gave my buddy 100 points and I was able to get some heals out of that. Hey, it's a win-win for me. It's always nice to have two people to have double heals. As you see here, what I like to use the 9 milli and the combination of the one-hit stick is I do not like using it as a one-hit stick. But even though I'm about to right now just because I have to. Using that nice peppering of the shots of 9 milli, being careful with my shots. It's a nice action. Things are going to go crazy hectic. And you'll see Shit. in throughout the That's week the as shot. I use the 9 milli, where I... Oh, no need to vanish. Get that nice... Oh, lag. As you see throughout this week, you'll see um, the power of the 9 millimeter and Shit, how dangerous it can be. And you could be a one-man army with it in the right hands considering you have to get enough bullets. There's a nice little exchange right here. All right, now, as you see, though, I shot a lot of bullets and I wasted a lot of bullets in that guy. And you got to be sure with the 9mm what you're doing. I was able to get a nice execution there. Throwing the bombs. I love throwing bombs above people. Did not get that guy to go down. 
he has a one hit stick. I don't know why he's running away from me. Ever to finish him off with some pepper shots to the 9 million, shooting the legs. A lot of things happening there, guys. You got to shoot legs if they have armor. You have to be mindful of your shots. Do not give away your positioning until you get the sure shot. And of course, I get dirty smoke. And I even get it worse. I'm looking for the legs. Oh, but I get Swiss cheese. I'm getting some nice Swiss cheese action with the assault rifle. But as I was saying, it's good to have a one-hit stick with the 9mm because a lot of you guys have been wondering why did you not special execute because I want to get in and out of it. I want to get in and out and again, shredded cheese action, assault rifle, back to back. I do not like being stuck in animations that I cannot control. I wish that there was a way for me to cancel animation. That would be nice. That would be a good thing. Uh, no, not enough. That would be very nice to be able to cancel animations. But when you have a one-hit stick, you could quickly execute people and move on. Usually, I like doing the double melee, the double kick. Uh, you could shoot people with the 9 melee if you could get the headshots, knock off armor. But, you know, I like to conserve it. Nice little molly toss right here, knock off their armor, down they go. Uh, but I give away my flanky. Can't get away. Got away. This is where the first aid training comes to effect. Get in and out of trouble, be able to heal myself. Using that, using the sprint just to get out of, just to get distance. I like to be either a, a far away with the 9 milli or really up close. I don't like being in that medium range because uh, it just depends on how focused my aim is. I see all my players on the left side and I know the enemy has to be on the right. Right there is the opportunity. Wait for the sure shot. Do not give away your position. Set a bomb right there just in case they double back on me. And I'm going to try to hide in this little corner, a little hoping they don't see me. And right now they're all they're they're being very aggressive and we it's a close game right now. The bowman turns around, get that down. Should have been aiming for the head sometimes. But as you see, again, come out of nowhere. This has been a rough match for me. I can't get any rhythm. Getting some good squad wipes here and there, but my team gets wiped out and it is down to the sudden death, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what I can do. Got a tall order, at least I got three of my members left against six reinforcements here on Bus Depot. Let's go ahead and call the match. I got, do got a double upgrading 9mm. I see my buddy goes down now. It's down to two of us here. And they're they're re being very aggressive. This is a great team right now. They're singling out everybody. I do not want to give away my position. I want to wait for that 500 parts bonus. I want to hit and lighten this up a bit because it gets a kind of a dark. So the sun didn't magically come out because I'm going to hang up here. And what I like to do is hang up on this bridge. This bridge is amazing for last stand. So what I like to do, as you're going to see right now, is I like to go up there with double bombs. And depending on which side they spawn from. Now I'm seeing on the red blimp, the red red, red um, little aura, that they're going to come from that side. So what I do is I put bombs on the other side of the file cabinet. If it was vice versa, I put that. Now with the 9 milli, even when you're throwing bombs or placing bombs, always have your gun ready to pick them apart. Because they're not going to go down easily with just an explosion. Considering I don't have bomb expert 2. Or I don't have uh, bomb expert. Th uh, I'm sorry, bomb expert three or explosion expert. So he's definitely hurt. Doesn't take that many shots. He goes down. This guy. I'm just trying to get him away. I'm trying to bait him to get close to me because I have this bomb there. He doesn't see it, and they're gonna be rush heavy. Get a nice explosion out of there. Boom. Don't need that many bullets. He goes down. I see that red document around me. Gotta get the execution. Guy misses. He has armor. I'm aiming for his legs as much as possible. Luckily enough, I had enough. 9 milli bullets for him to go down. Damage wobble way too much for him to handle. And I am in good position right now for the comeback. Only two guys left. We're using that nice bridge technique right there with the bombs. And I'm in business. I got pretty and craftables. I'm a smoke. And I got plenty of bullets. And I got that Ninja Turtle armor and a machete. And I'm doing okay here. I like to stay up here to see what else is going to happen. Because a lot of people get frantic. And they start to rush in. But now they are on alert that I got this bridge on lockdown and here comes somebody running around eager to get the kill so he gave away his position and a perfect opportunity I might as well use a molotov get this guy here oh yeah nicely done I'm gonna go ahead and let this play out enjoy this tense moment one on one comeback is on actually the comeback is real let's do this
Smoke out! Oh, the fire. The fire did me in. Oh, that was a good match. Well, thank you guys for being awesome and checking me out. I hope you enjoyed this kind of gameplay. While I'm out, don't worry. I will be back next week, and I still got enough awesome episodes for you guys to enjoy. See you guys on Wednesday. Ooh, yeah. Peace.